Rudy? Are you even listening to me? Hello? I think you can do anything. I think you could do that. But I also think that maybe there's a world where you put all of this creativity just towards a stable job or something more consistent with actual money. Sorry, what? I'm Rudy. Isabella. Isabella, prazer. Prazer. Mom? What? For as long as I can remember, everyday regular sounds, I turn into rhythm. She's different, she's beautiful, she's smart, she's oh, funny. Oh, tell me more. But now Haley, I think, wants to wants to get back together. Tell me less. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. That was a quick clip from the new movie, Musica, a coming-of-age love story about an aspiring creator with synesthesia. Musica will have its world premiere at South by Southwest tomorrow, but first, we have writer, director, and star Rudy Mancuso and co-star Camila Mendez here to tell us all about this rhythmic rom-com. Good morning to you both. Good morning. I am huge fans of the both of you, and I was telling you guys before the show that I got an early screener to Musica, and I'm absolutely obsessed. I was hooked after the first two minutes. That, that first opening scene, it, it's just magical and amazing. So, um, Rudy, let's go ahead and start with you this morning. Musica is actually based on your own experiences. Uh, can you tell us more about what inspired you to write this, this movie? Yeah, well, you know, synesthesia and the synesthetic perspective is is uh, not talked about enough, um, mm -hmm. and I had never really seen it explored and depicted. I depicted cinematically. Never. Uh, and I've uh, I've I've always wanted to bring my specific type of synesthesia because there's so many different types mm -hmm. to life um, in a really fun, multicultural way. Um, so it's been a part. It, it, it's been a part of me for as long as I can remember, and I've always wanted to to bring it to the screen and I finally was able to. Yeah, and it's, you did it in such a beautiful way too. I actually had to Google what synesthesia was because mm -hmm. I am unfamiliar, but I love that you're advocating and you're putting this movie together in, in such a beautiful way so that people can learn and just know more about this. And um, can you explain to our viewers this morning what synesthesia is and kind of what we'll see throughout and portrayed throughout the movie? Yeah, well, I mean, as I said, there's so many different types. Mm -hmm. uh, the research is ongoing. Mm -hmm. at it, at its, by definition, synesthesia is essentially a, an intertwining of senses, mm -hmm. or one, one sense will involuntarily stimulate another. Mm. Um, so I have a very specific type, uh, well, a few different types from what I know, mm -hmm. rhythmic association, misophonia, synesthesia, um, uh, ordinal number personification. Mm -hmm. For instance, some people can taste Tuesday mm. and can smell the number four. Yeah. Um, and for me, there's just like an e extreme sensitivity to certain sounds, and my brain involuntarily tries to organize everyday sounds into yeah. some kind of musical structure or mm -hmm. context, mm -hmm. uh, which sometimes is a lot of fun and I use as an asset, and right. other times is quite hindering. Right. Uh, and the film explores both sides. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I, I was able to see that and I, I loved, Camila, how you asked Rudy, you play Isabella and you asked him, is, is this torturing you in any way? Mm -hmm. And I think that that scene was just so beautiful, but tell us more about your character, Isabella, and, and just the storyline in general. Yeah, so I am one of two love interests. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, oh, God. Okay. <laughs> uh, I play Isabella, who works at the fish market, um, and she's the Brazilian American girl next door, kind mm -hmm. of, um, that he sets his eyes on while he's also dealing with um, a long term relationship with his other girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Other good. girlfriend, is that what I should say? How I would mean, I describe that? Yeah, I my producers were in the room while I was watching, and I was like, oh, <laughs> naughty, naughty, naughty. <laughs> but it's very you, you, you. The, the storyline is played out very, very well, and and I think for you playing Isabella, like you immediately capture his heart, and like as a viewer watching, you can see this. So it's like that fun rom-com of a little bit of drama but you're mm -hmm. also learning so much and then 
it is rhythmic for sure. So you uh, like I was I was doing my makeup this morning, like bouncing around and I'm like poking my eye out with my <laughs> mascara. So it's it's definitely a vibe. And I love I love the chemistry that we see between the two of you on air. And and what was it like collaborating together on this project and really just meeting for the first time? It was amazing. I was so impressed by him in our first Zoom meeting. Um, I, he was just, he had such a clear vision and the script was already so amazing, but like knowing that he was also bringing our Brazilian culture to the screen was something so powerful and I'd never seen something like that before. Yeah. So I was really excited to be able to do that with him. I was incredibly lucky to mm -hmm. have had worked with, with Cami. She's not only not only as a co-star, but as a co-producer. Mm -hmm. um, she, she elevated the role and the, the film, the pages, to, uh, to a level I, I, I never anticipated. And we got to personalize these roles. I mean, I'm playing a version of myself. This right. is autobiographical. Mm -hmm. What I didn't expect was for her to personalize this role so much. I mean, the, the, it was sometimes hard to gauge the distinction between uh, Isabella and Cammy. Yeah. As, as our characters, we're, we're building this chemistry, mm -hmm. so were we, clearly. Yeah, yeah, and it's just so beautiful. And I, 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 need a, I need to see what you end up doing about your thesis, because as you'll see <laughs> when you see Musica, there's a whole bunch of drama and some lies going on, and, you know, I'm rooting for you guys. So mm -hmm. I'm excited to see what's going to happen. When and where can our viewers go and see Musica? Uh, well, we'll be at South by... Um, for the world premiere tomorrow, tomorrow, March 13th, 3 p.m., and it'll be out on Prime Video officially on April 4th. April awesome, 4th. amazing. Okay, we have about 30 seconds left. If you're up for it, we have a quick game of this or that South by Let's Southwest do it. edition. Let's you go. guys Let's ready? Do it. We're ready. Okay, so it's like fire questions. So, real quick, uh, number one, would you rather stay out late to see live music until 2 a.m. or get up early for a yoga and meditation activation? Stay out till 2 a.m. Yep. Oh, I love <laughs> it. Okay, number two, it's time to grab lunch. Do you go for a Texas barbecue or street tacos? Street tacos. Texas barbecue. Oh, yeah. Okay, and you're at the theater for the premiere. Is your movie snack of choice popcorn or candy? Both. Both. Don't make me choose. Okay, what about a pickle? Not whoa, a pickle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Pickle. <laughs> it's a Texas That's thing, y'all. It's a Texas thing. Right? A Texas thing. <laughs> I'll go for a pickle. Yeah. Oh I don't God. like pickles. Can we do all three? Okay. Controversial. Which one? Can we do all three? Yes, 100%. I do all, all three. The food, all, all the food. All the food. Yes. Okay, number four. Um, you want to do some sightseeing in Austin. Do you go on a boat tour and see the bats fly out of South Congress Bridge, or do you take a swim at Barton Springs Pool? I think the Barton Springs pool. Okay, take a dip. I, I, I'm going to have to agree on that one because I didn't really understand the first one. Yeah, me okay. neither. <laughs> it, we, uh, oh my God, we, we're going to fill you in right after we, we say goodbye. Okay, last question. It's time to catch your flight home. Do you arrive at the gate just in time or are you at the airport three hours early? She's there yeah. like five hours <laughs> we're early. We're the opposite when it comes it's to crazy. travel. I actually like, uh, to me, it's a little bit fun risking getting there just in the nick of time. And oh she's like, gosh. you're crazy. I'm yeah. late to everything except flights that I'm super early. <laughs> So smart. I've missed way too many flights and ruined too many trips. Camila, Rudy, thank you so much for joining us this Thanks morning. For thank awesome. you for having we us. We loved this. Thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button. And for more videos like this, check out our We Are Austin playlist.